All right, guys, so I just got my camera stuff in the mail here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, get some of the stuff out of the way. So this is a Canon T1i, otherwise known as the EOS 500D. And um, I got it for $24 at the Goodwill with no charger. I was able to charge the battery by putting some wires into the battery, which was really kind of a pain. Um, so this takes a uh, LPE5. I have lots of other cannons, but I don't have this. I even have a charger that charges a lot of the different batteries, but of course not this one. So, um, but I ordered this. I don't remember. Okay, Pickle Power is in it. Um, LPE5, KISS X3, KISS X2. There's these different like ones in uh, different companies. Um, so they have little instructions with it, which is actually nice. Um, micro USB Type C, etc., etc. Um, so these were uh, nineteen dollars, ten percent off actually. Let's just see what it says real fast. Uh, Dual LED USB charger for cameras. Warning before using this device for the first time, please read the manual thoroughly. You can use this device only in a safe and surrounding uh, area. The manual not only helps you use the device in the correct way, but also helps you prevent from accidents. Specifications. Uh, input 5 volts DC, output 4.2 volts or 8.4 volts. Charging. Please carry out the following instructions. Insert the batteries and connect the micro USB cable with your dual charger. Insert the far end of the cable into the computer, laptop, or smartphone charger. Warning. This charger is intended to use in a closed location. Do not expose it to rain or snow. Please remove the battery charging station from the power support source if the charging is finished and or the charger is not in use. Children should not use the charger when supervised... Or children should use the chooper. Children should use the charger only when supervised by their parents. The device should be used in temperatures of zero to forty degrees Celsius only. Charge only batteries adapted to this charger. Do not clean the device with water. Do not open and reassemble the charger. Do not drop the charger. Do not place heavy items on it. Do not expose the device to direct sunlight or heating or high temperatures of any means. And that's basically all it says here, um, and everything else is just in a bunch of different languages. That's cool. So let's have a look and see. I've seen these particular boxes many, many times before. Good. And normally I end up with these chargers that um, have like a car charger and a flip out thing on the back. I'm not really a fan of these kind. Um, but then again, it can be charged in the car with a cell phone charger. LED intelligent charger. Go ahead and get that out of there. When I buy stuff, I always make sure it's wrapped because then it indicates that if it's not wrapped, it might be used. And Amazon has gotten extremely bad for uh, sending you used items so if you get something pay attention make sure you're not getting something used and it's just uh, friendly advice I ordered a couple of multimeters recently and they were all used so we got a USB-C and we got a micro USB so and it comes with a C which is great I'm glad they supplied a cord uh, one thing I wish that companies would do is give you a little bit longer of a cord than that and also possibly a cord that that might be good for um, data just for the hell of it like why do they make charge only cords though because they can put less wires in them so we're gonna move this over here we've got a charger here and we'll very short cord like I said So let's take our Canon battery. So 
says it's full, which is probably correct. Okay, let's take a look at one of the batteries. Well packaged. And also, much heavier. Well, I don't know about much heavier. Let's, let's try something here. I've got a little scale. Not too far away. It's actually kind of large, to be honest. And it came from the thrift store. I've got to find my batteries. I've got a stash of batteries, which I'm not sure. Oh boy. So, okay. perfect. Alright, so we get some Amazon batteries here. By the way, if you ever get batteries and they're not in the plastic, but the plastic's in the container, you just bought used something. <laughs> so just so you know. I bought a multimeter. The batteries were floating around. The plastic was floating around. You could tell somebody had used it, but they took everything back out. here forty four grams actually I think they might be the same <laughs> forty seven forty five let's see what it adds up to ninety two Forty-seven. Forty-four. Ninety-one. Forty-seven. Ninety-one. Forty-three. Scale's kind of... Nah. Anyway, the weight... I mean... I don't know, to me... It feels heavier. But the scale says it's not. Gail says the cannon battery is heavier. This claims to be 1500. I highly doubt that. Anyway, I really doubt that it would be 1500, but. Um, it's hard to say. I'm going to plug this other battery in. So I'm going to see what it reads. Okay, so the pickle power batteries are half charged, according to this. So, I didn't really need two of them, but I figured the Canon battery, I mean, I don't know what year it's from. Uh, 2008 maybe I think this camera came out in 2008 so I mean it's probably time these these batteries don't always last forever you know just is what it is so at any rate um, I'm trying to get this box back together I like to I like to put everything away so that way I can have it packed up if I need to pack it up, etc. etc. So, yeah, they ship these pretty quickly, so that was cool. Um, looks like, you know, probably a decent battery for this camera. Now, normally, I wouldn't even bother with the second battery. But, even if you don't think you're going to use it, if you just bought it, 
you're going to want to charge it because there could be something wrong with it and you want to want to use both of the batteries to make sure that if there's something wrong with it you can return it because you got 30 days on Amazon and after that if you find out there's something wrong with it eh, it's too late you, you can reach out and contact the seller that one's also half charged and sometimes certain sellers are really good about you know um, something happens even you know, outside of whatever, some of them even offer a warranty, but most sellers do not. So anyway, so that's the LP E5 battery for the Canon, and I don't know what else it might fit some camcorders or something, some point-and-shoot cameras, um, a couple of different other uh, Canon Rebel-style point, uh, you know, DSLR entry cameras. So thanks for watching, guys.